Squad just released two brand new features that are absolutely going to blow your mind because it can now connect to all of your apps from a mobile device and they just released a brand new feature that allows you to create, edit, and analyze different documents, PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, and so much more all from Claude. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what these features are, how you could actually use them, and I'm gonna share with you several use cases you could begin to use this for that are going to blow your mind. So change number one is now that if you log into Claude Mobile, you're going to see Claude now connects to your apps so you can keep your tasks and lists organized, manage upcoming events, draft texts and emails, and you can even find nearby places. So if we click on try it out right here, it automatically does this where it's schedule a focused time block over the next work week that avoids conflicts with existing meetings, show me some nearby coffee shops and remind me to take my headphones. And what we can do is ask this to do this and now Claude from a mobile device has access to everything that it needs to do in order to actually do this. So this is gonna go through, this is going to check my time, it's then going to check my calendar, we can actually allow it to do it straight from the phone by just saying allow. And now this is going through, and this is going to create an event for me and take action on my phone, and it's even going to remind me that I should do this. I mean, look at everything that it's doing. This is pretty crazy. This is going through. I am allowing this access to everything that I'm doing. And by the way, where I'm at right now, I will be gone from here by the time this video goes live. So don't get any ideas. So we keep going down here. We can see this is going through. This is showing me some great coffee options near me. And look at this. I mean, I literally just gave this one prompt right here to do this. And we could see all these different apps that this now fired up as a result. And one thing that's pretty crazy, if you ask me, is this does a really good job at actually doing this really quickly. The Wi-Fi that I'm on right now, because I'm at an Airbnb, isn't the best in the world, but this is great. Okay, so this is all set. Focus time is now scheduled. Great coffee shop options. Gave me a headphone reminder, and it literally went through and did all of this. Now, in addition to this, you could have this take way more actions aside from what we just saw right here on the phone. You could have this text, you could have this email, you could have this manage other apps on your phone, and this right here is absolutely mind blowing. I can't believe that they release this and not that many people are talking about it yet. Now, before we get into the next feature that's even crazier than the one that I just shared with you and is accessible from the web app or from the desktop application, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna learn more about AI. I upload videos like this every single day and you're not gonna to wanna to miss them. Okay, now in order to enable the other features, what you need to do is you need to log into Claude. You need to come into the bottom left-hand corner right here, click on your settings, click on features, and then you wanna make sure you have all of these turned on. You wanna have artifacts turned on, AI powered artifacts, artifacts, you want to have search and reference chats turned on because basically this is almost a memory feature for Claude. It allows it to search for relevant details in past chats, but then also you want to make sure that you have this analyze tool on, and then you also want to make sure that you have this on. Well, actually, what I could see right here is that you can't actually have both on at once. So the new feature is going to be this upgraded file creation and analysis. So what we are going to do is just have this on. If you are used to having this on, note that you're going to have to have this turned off if you're going to have this turned on. For some reason, it only lets us have one of these on at a time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come over to Claude and we're going to refresh this so that it actually takes the updates here and we can now see that we are going to be able to create things. So I'm just going through and trying to look and see if it's going to show somewhere, but it doesn't look like it. So what I'm gonna do is say, please create a PowerPoint for my students about how voice agents work, how to set them up and how to train them. So what I'm showing off here is the ability for this now to actually go through and create a PowerPoint. So. I just asked it exactly what I wanted to do. It goes through, it's gathering its thoughts, and now it's going through, it's going to generate the design for this, and it's actually going to create the PowerPoint. And it's kind of crazy how quickly this is going through and this is doing this. And this is able to take advantage of several different things, because as you know, or you're about to find out if you don't already know, Claude has access to MCP. If I open up another Claude window right here and we come over here and we come in to settings, we will be able to see connectors from inside of here. And all of these connectors are different things that you can have Claude hook up to. Gmail, Google Calendar, NVIDIA, Canva, Google Drive, PayPal, Stripe. If we come over to connectors, you can see 
that there are tons and tons of connectors that you were able to hook Claude up to. Well, guess what? You can now ask Claude to do things and it will go through and it will actually generate exactly what you want generated with all of these different tools right here. So maybe you wanted to access your monday.com or maybe you wanted to access Google Drive or your Gmail in helping it create an Excel spreadsheet or a PDF or PowerPoint or whatever, it can actually do that because it has access to all of these different places. Okay, so as we can see here, this now went through and this created an 18 slide deck. Now, I hate this orange right here, so I'm probably gonna change this to a different color. We could just like lighten this up, um, but this, looks pretty good. Now we're gonna have to come through and change some of these images or remove watermarks here, which is fine. But this went through and created this 18 point PowerPoint about exactly how to use this tool, exactly how to set these up. And this is pretty crazy that this actually went through and created this. Now, of course, we are going to have to edit some of these things. We are going to have to change these things. But if you remember, I gave this a very basic prompt. I didn't tell it anything about style or design or my brand colors or brand format. So if I did, it would have actually taken that into consideration. But it's pretty crazy how quickly it went through, created a presentation with 18 different slides that did all of the things that I had asked it to do. Okay. Now to show off another feature from this, what I got this to do was create a bunch of dummy data in a CSV that represents sales data plus information for a fleet of food trucks. Now, what this did, it went through and created a text document with a bunch of different information here that I can then transform into a CSV or I could just download it straight as a text document. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this as a text document and what we could see is that this gives us the composition, the data field, key features, Features. And then what we can actually do is we can take this because I didn't have a bunch of sales data like just readily available for my business in order to do this with because I do that stuff on Sundays and today is in Sunday. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We are now going to upload this into Claude and then we're going to say, I need you to do a full analysis of my business that contains five food trucks. I want you to look at at sales data and see where I can optimize my business, where I can grow it, and any opportunities that I might not see. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give it, and I'm going to say, here's some more information. And then I'm going to put what Claude put also, just so that it has an understanding of like what's actually inside of this text document. And what this is now going to do, it's gonna ponder, it is going to think, and this is gonna go through and create a conductive comprehensive analysis for the food truck fleet in order to identify optimization opportunities and growth potential. And this is gonna go through, it's gonna look at the data structure, it's going to dive into the details, it's going to think about these things. And this is pretty crazy that Claude is now able to do all of this. And like I was saying earlier, guess what? You can hook Claude up to a bunch of different tools. So if we come over here again, and we come into connectors, we can see what we can actually hook this up to. And again, if you didn't have the data readily available and you didn't have the ability to just pull a text file or something like that, you could have had this pull data from PayPal or from Stripe, and it can actually go through and do that. In addition to that, Rube right here, I wanted to show you this because this is pretty cool and this is actually 100% free right now. You come over to rube.app, this will allow you to connect Claude to more than 500 different apps. They literally have tons and tons of different apps. If we come into Marketplace right here, and again, this is free. So this allows you to connect your Claude MCP to literally all of these different tools right here. There are tools for developers, for AI and ML, for CRM, for analytics and data, for productivity. There are literally tools for everything that you could think of. So I would strongly suggest checking that out. I actually have a full length video of this on my channel if you wanted to check it out. But as we can see right here, this is going through. We give it this prompt. This went through and this analyzed the data. It's analyzing the data some more. It's now analyzing it based on performance and location type. And then what this is going to do is give us a full analysis of what we can do to grow the business, where different growth opportunities are and things like that. And again, where this really gets powerful is Claude can now create PowerPoints, 
create PDFs, connect to all these different things. And this right here is pretty crazy. And if you pair that with the other update of it being able to access apps on your phone, it's pretty crazy how Claude, literally in just the last week, if we go back two weeks, I didn't think about Claude that much, but now with these updates, this gives it access to so many different things and makes it so much more valuable, especially when you think about the fact that it can access apps on your phone because you can literally just talk to it on your phone and say, hey, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. And it can set things up and it can schedule things out and it can make changes all from your phone without you having to be in front of a computer. And where I think this is powerful, because it is powerful with the phone, is what is the next frontier here? Are we gonna be talking to classes and doing this? Are we gonna have a watch on and the watch is just going to do that for us? I think it's gonna be pretty crazy where this actually goes. So let's actually have this finish up this analysis and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now that this is done, I asked this to package this up like a Google Doc that I get from a real consultant and this is now going through and this is packaging this up. So look at this, it gives us an optimization strategy here, tells us who it's prepared for, who it's prepared by, it gives us a date, the analysis period, it gives us confidentiality right here, gives us an executive summary, key finding, strategic imperatives, goes through and gives us a business analysis here for each of these things, gives us revenue drivers, gives us strategic opportunities, which is absolutely insane, risk mitigation strategies. And if we come down here, it actually gives us an implementation roadmap with phase one, phase two, phase three, different financial productions that are conservative, optimistic, a return on investment, key performance indicators, or primary KPIs to monitor, recommendation summary. And this is pretty crazy that this actually went through, gives us an appendix, gives us all of this. This would have cost thousands of dollars to get somebody to do this, but we just got Claude to do this for free in like 45 seconds. Not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI Automation School that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a brand new AI agent that you could get started with today for free that can help you learn how to automate your work. On top of that, in the video, I give you five different automations that everybody should be implementing right now. If that sounds interesting, well, please check it out right here.